Welcome everybody. Today we're gonna to check out All Seasons Indian Catering. First of all, this place is a bit difficult to find. Uh, it's out in Saint Laurent. It's close to Walkley and Saint Laurent, that little intersection. There's a whole bunch of industrial places and uh, you have to go to building C, I believe, and then number 11, it's, they all look alike and you may get lost. They import a lot of things over there. Um, they specialize in Eastern African and uh, Indian cuisine. So they have a lot of stuff that they've imported over there. So it's a semi grocery store and semi made to eat kind of restaurant as well. The portions are very generous. Uh, they have a, a special for for two, two mains, two samosas. Um, I believe you get two desserts as well, uh, two drinks, and the the breads you can either get you can get the garlic naan or something like that. I just wanted to get this one just because it's uh, it's different. I've never had it before. That's quite a reasonable price for a meal for two. They have like a vast amount of desserts over there as well. So you might want to check out their website to see what you would like to try out. So. First off, we're going to try out the beef uh, biryani with the biryani rice. It's too bad that they don't have the lamb. I'm I'm all about that lamb biryani, but uh, the beef one should be a good substitute. It's very different from what I had at the Brampton because the Brampton kind of put the the stuff from the lamb and on top of the rice and kind of melted together. This is uh, this is. A little different, but it's very good too. I gotta get used to the onion flakes that are on top of everything. But I love the spice that they have. It's nice and subtle. I just got spicy, not super spicy. It has a hint of this smoky flavor to it. I wasn't too used to it in the beginning, but then after a few bites, I started getting, I started uh, understanding it. I want to try the chapati as well. It's a little on the drier side that I w wasn't expecting. I would think I would have uh, preferred the garlic naan. It's a very different type of flatbread. Actually, it's not too bad. I'm starting to grow to it. It's a very light flavor. I think this, the sauces here, I'm gonna try out. I think the green one is a spice. Yeah, this is a spicy yogurt kind of flavor. It's pretty spicy actually. Watch yourself on that one. Next I have the karai chicken. Now this one's supposed to be spicy as well. It's got some tomatoes in there. Lots of vegetables. The chicken is a little on the drier side. I kind of prefer the beef instead. Check out this sauce. I don't know what that's for. It might actually be for the samosas. Mmm. It's a sweet sauce that I think uh, you put it on the samosas. Now we have the samosas. Now I've, I'm assuming the phyllo one is the one that's thicker. I could have them mistaken for one another. The innards actually remind me something, somewhat of a, a Chinese dumpling that I've had before a long time ago, but uh, I really like this. Adding it with the hot sauce is even better. Now we have the smaller, the thinner crusted samosa. I'm not too sure if the last one was the phyllo one or this one. We're gonna check out this one. This one's uh, just, it just seems like it has a, a thinner crust to it. Uh, they're both similar flavored, so they taste very similar except the crust. The crust on the first one was a little doughier than this one. This one's a little crispier. It kind of reminds me of a dim sum thing. Because the crust reminds me of those spring roll crusts. Now let's check out the the cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper. Important. I, I, I've never seen this before. It tastes like Dr. Pepper, but it's uh, it's more vanilla-y. I kind of prefer this one over the regular Dr. Pepper. It tastes a little lighter. And then we have the cream soda. That's not half bad. It definitely does taste like Dr. Pepper and cream soda were put together. I normally don't like cream soda, but this is actually pretty good. Now for the desserts. Gulab jamun. It's soaked in some sort of sugar um, liquid. It's very wet. Uh, you have to kind of get used to the wetness of this one. But the sweetness is very nice. It's like a very nice sweet syrup, but it's not over sugary. 
we're gonna try out the the donut the mandazi mandazi doesn't really come with the sauce but we have so many sauces here that we can add to it it's not crazy sweet which i like it's definitely doughy they can north americanize this and it would be very good with additional sugar uh toppings on top of it as it is by itself it's not too bad kind of thing it's missing something like some sort of extra icing or something like that the coax sisters so I'll try the regular one first and then I'll try out these other ones here and you can tell all the the work that they've done with the the braiding for these things there's this Chinese pastry that is kind of like it's all yellow but usually you get them in squares it tastes very similar to that but not as crunchy it tastes very similar to that dessert it has a firm texture to it it's a little doughy in the middle uh just like a donut this is a winner i, I like these see if the sugar and the coconut makes a difference this one sort of reminds me of a christmas one because of the green and the red let's check it out the crisp the sugar crystals surprisingly don't make that big of a difference it's more for dec more decorative let's go for the coconut same goes for the coconut it's a slight difference with the coconut and the the sh sugar cubes <clears throat> it's not that big of a difference they they all taste similar to the to the regular uh, coke sister next we have the burfies we have the mango one here oddly enough i don't taste too much mango in here it does taste like a fudge not too much mango to that next up we have our pistachio not much of a difference between the two they're not bad they do taste very similar to uh fudge that you're used to but not but not quite as chocolatey but this one should the chocolate one a slight difference the burpees are good but they don't have the distinct flavor of like mango or pistachio or chocolate they're very similar to one another the chocolate one is kind of like a little more faint than the the other two i think of the three the mango one had a little more flavor but it didn't really taste like mango i would have to say that this is a place to definitely check out not only for the regular dishes but you can you will, you'll have to check out their desserts and the imported food that they have over there they had so many choices that i i I, I didn't really uh, get the chance to check out everything. Presentation of all the food was absolutely great. Um, the service, spot on. They're, they're very kind and and, uh, and hospitable over there. One thing that uh, is even better about this place is that <clears throat> they're cognizant of a lot of allergies and diet restrictions. So they'll, on the website, they'll actually show you whether it's vegan, vegetarian, uh, nut-free, or uh or or you can even write down at the bottom over there if you have sp a specific condition or whatnot they'll accommodate for the way that you need it to be prepared so if you have allergies you can let them know and they'll be able to uh, make the food for you without uh specific things that you don't want well that's it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed everything that you saw here or at least something that you saw enjoyed seeing or that piqued your curiosity about this place until next week, I'll see you guys. Bye.